We don't have hot water. Well, our hot water heater went out. <laughs> Look at that spread. <laughs> Happy early Thanksgiving. Hi. Never spent Thanksgiving like this before. Church very often. That means it's not draining. Now at the back. Happy holidays, everyone. Well, our hot water heater went out about a week and a half ago. We had an extended warranty. We found a technician here that we're working with and he's trying to help us out as well, working in conjunction with us, company of the tankless water heater, which is a Precision Temp Twin Temp Junior. Now, this is the older one, which they've been known to have some issues. Precision Temp has to order a board. They were short on boards to build one, so they have to build it. We've extended our stay here at this RV campground, and still, we're not going to get it in time, so we have to leave. But we have had no hot water for a week and a half. We have that electric kettle that we use for our pour over coffee. And we'll boil some water and then mix that in with some of the cool water for washing dishes or whatever else we need. So that's been a real pain. Just got our tickets for the Thanksgiving dinner here at Thousand Trails. Shell and I just love this place. It's one of our, one of our favorites. Look at the spread. You got another table of spread over here. Oh, look at that spread. <laughs> Happy early Thanksgiving. Clearwater Beach for Thanksgiving. We thought, shouldn't be hardly anybody here for Thanksgiving. We'll go down there because it's always so hard to get a spot for parking. No, it's been crazy. Took, uh, what, 20, 25 minutes to get a parking spot? Pretty much, it had to be at least close to a half hour. Anyway, finally got one. Oh, we didn't pay for our parking. Oh, we gotta well. pay for parking. Three dollars an hour here at Pier 60. Never spent Thanksgiving like this before. We're gonna have a FaceTime chat for our Thanksgiving. My son and his family. Happy Thanksgiving. From Clearwater Beach, Florida. Holy cow. Well, this is your first time at Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. Going to Disney Springs to watch the Hawkeye game. Coming back to Disney Springs. We love this place. It's a nice place to come and take a walk. We got free parking, free entertainment, people watch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
from Disney with love and Papa and Grandma. <laughs> Uh-oh, Grandma started on yours. <laughs> Gotta catch Grandma. Sunday morning, Michelle reminded me our church is on. Our church that we used to go to in West Des Moines, Iowa, actually has uh, service online. It's hopeonline.tv. I'm using the Amazon Fire TV and then using the Internet Explorer browser. But it makes it nice. At least we don't have to miss that if we don't want to. It's there. You know, we've got a, a couple of families that would love nothing more than to gather together with others from Hope to worship this winter while you're down there. So this is like the south part of Mesa. Uh, the Queens Creek area, Gold Canyon area. Also, the Sock Advent uh, Mission Project. We're going to put the address on the screen you can send them to. Uh, attention, Mark Brandt, me, and I'll make sure to drop those uh, in the bin and get those to where they need to be. So we've set a goal of 100,000 pairs of socks to take care of that need. I know the goal is pretty high, but we can do this whole. So go out and get some socks, bring them to the bins, and let's, let's meet a need and make a difference in some lives. I was looking for the keys. I don't have them. Oh. 
these zero G hoses are so nice being flimsy. They got a place for all RVs to unhook and hook up before you take off or come in so you're not in anybody's way. Michelle's following me in the car and we're gonna hook up here. infamous oh light <laughs> we keep forgetting to take that light off that thing has lasted several trips <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why it's on our checklist too it's just What's that tell your you? uh, command stripped on right yeah but man those work <laughs> boy that's a it's a good plug for command strips <laughs> hi sunny doing okay okay good Tree. And since the hot water heater has been bad, we're having to do some of our laundry at the laundromat and take our showers up at the shower house. So we don't have hot water. So I'm gonna take my laptop up to the laundry facilities here at the at the campgrounds. Michelle's gonna do a load here with cold water. I'm gonna take the towels and the whites, work up there while waiting on laundry. See you in a bit. I thought I better tell you that or you might think I was Santa Claus. If your refrigerator, a drip tray, is getting filled, that means it's not draining. Now at the back of the refrigerator also, if you defrost your freezer and it gets frost on it right away, that's another sign. You go in the back and take your drip hose you can see how there's water coming out of it there's a plug that goes in it and that plug gets plugged up so you need to take it off and take a paper clip and clean that hole out when that gets plugged our drip tray has been filling up which tells us that it's not uh, draining properly and also the freezer I defrosted the freezer and it frosted over right away the very next day had frost all over in the back that's another sign that this isn't draining properly. Once you get that cleaned out, then it should take care of the problem. See you next week. I wonder where you went. Here I am. Taking a lunch break to enjoy this weather. Yeah, they can't hear you. <laughs> No hose to get all kinked up, especially when you got a really long water hose. You really gotta watch what you say on these cameras. <laughs> <laughs>